Oh yeah, what's going on YouTube? It's Coach PJ Sheridan here with a 10 minute core inspired mobility routine. All you need is your body weight and the mindset to get a little better. We're going to work on some foundational core movements as well as some full body mobility routines that are going to help you in your cool down, your warm up, and your training for overall life. Let's get right into it. Let's start off our movements here in three, in two, and one. Torso twist, nice and control. Rotate from the ball of the foot all the way to the top of the head. A lot of core movements are gonna work through that entire core. So we wanna warm that trunk up and get that rotation popping. Now let's transition to punching across the body. I wanna rotate that knuckle, turn the hand, protecting the chin at the top. Seven more seconds, and we're gonna transition to a knee raise and twist. Bring those hands up behind the head, rotate the trunk, bring the knee all the way up to the outside of that opposite elbow. Control that breath, get your mind focused here. Now, these movements might feel super simple, but they're gonna be very effective. Not only are we getting the body warmed up, working that trunk, but we're building great habits to help you move better and to feel better as well. Let's transition to an opposite hand, opposite foot, three, two, one, leg spread, opposite hand, opposite foot, Drive those hips back, rotate nice and control, turning at the trunk, trying to stay balanced here, all right? Oh, this is one of my favorite pre-warm-up exercises, especially when I'm on stage teaching fight camp workouts. 10 more seconds, and we drop to the ground for one of my favorite morning mobility movements, cat cow. Here we go, in three, in two, and one, take a seat onto the floor, hands go right underneath those shoulders. Good, strong bend into the back. And then as you arch your back and round it, exhale out. Control that breath. Like I said, this is one of my favorite ways to get that spine moving first thing in the morning. 10 more seconds, you're crushing it. We're gonna go to our first inchworm here. We're gonna start from the high plank, three, two, one, take one foot back, then the other, slowly walk the hands all the way up, trying not to bend at the knees if you can, give me a little calf raise, reach all the way out, again, this pace is going to be nice and control, not trying to kill you, just trying to get the body a little better, movement by movement, breath by breath, that is it, we're going to go to a runner's lunge on our left leg in three, and two and one go ahead and put that left foot all the way out by that left hand if you need to modify you can drop the knee down to the ground sink low into that hip stretch breathe crushing it now we have our left foot up right what i want to see now is that left hand rotate and reach up to the ceiling rotate and turn all the way back all right give me one more rotation come on here we go three two and one back to that high plank all right now i need a shoulder tap one of each hand and then back to the inchworm again if you feel the need now you can always pick that pace up and move the body quickly as we work on this mobility in that core oh yeah i'm right here with you 10 more seconds and then guess what we got our runner's lunge on the other leg here in three, in two, and one. If you're already up, get there, walk it out, hold that runner's lunge, drive those hips forward. Again, modification, dropping the knee down. That heart rate's up a little bit. Feeling that core temperature, am I right? Oh yeah. Go ahead and rotate that right hand up to the ceiling, exhale. Inhale, rotate back down. Get one more, all the way out, all the way back down. And now, let's go ahead and give me that inchworm. Woo! Last ones, trust me. I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. We're gonna go to a foot tap. So hike the hips up, reach opposite hand, opposite foot, hips come back down, and you alternate. Yeah. Again, foundational movements, but done over time, time over tension, you will see that they can kick your butt 
even though we're going nice and control. Go ahead and rise onto your feet. We got rainbows now. Nice, easy rotation, like there's a medicine ball in the hand. Reach up, drive those hips down. Notice I'm rotating on the ball of the foot, turning of the entire body. Ha. 17 more seconds. Then we drop back down to the floor for a boxer's twist. I know, challenging. Might be a little different. You might not have ever done any of these movements and that's okay. Drop to the floor, ha. right to it. Boxer's twist. Again, I'm gonna begin with my feet on the ground. Whew. Controlling that inhale, controlling that exhale. The next one's gonna be a fun one. I'm kidding, it's not. <laughs> Come on, you gotta laugh a little bit during movements. Sometimes that makes the diaphragm open up a little better. Next one, you will feel a little bit like a kid. You're gonna roll onto your back, and we got rolling V. Roll back, come up to a single leg hurdle. Roll back, do it again. The other leg, do it one last time, and then a butterfly. And then repeat, roll and stretch. Roll and stretch. You're almost there. 10 more seconds of rolling, trust me. Getting that spine nice and loose. We transition to sit-ups. Three, two, and one. Right to it. Sit up, punch across the body. Nice sit up again. Reach, rotate through. Nice and easy. Try to keep those plant feet planted down as much as you can. Nice control. Again, you're always welcome to pick up that pace. Just don't hold your breath here. We're gonna roll around on the all fours for threading the needle in three, two, and one. Reach all the way across, bend on that right arm, get that shoulder down. I don't want you to rotate up towards the ceiling, then switch. Same exact thing, alternate back and forth. Thread that needle through the arms, rotating that thoracic trunk, working that upper body mobility, sweating already. I know I am. Here we go. Last one, best one. Rotate around. We got single leg V-ups. I know it's a lot. Opposite hands, come all the way up. Both hands reach for that foot. This is one of the most challenging movements we got today. So take your time. If you're looking for an extra challenge, go ahead and extend those feet out and don't let the shoulders touch the ground. If not, stay there. <laughs> That's okay. We are almost at the finish line. Here we go. Roll around, high plank. Woo, hold that high plank position. And then I need you to step that left foot forward into that runner's lunge, rotate up and reach back, reset. Go to the other leg, same exact thing. Rotate, turn the body, reset. You're in there for these last few movements. I know 20 mobility moves. It's a lot, but you're getting through it, getting better, becoming more mobile. Rise onto your feet. Let's get to that squat and then knee raise and twist. Just like we did in the beginning of this movement today, we're gonna close it out, but adding that squat. Keep the eyes up. Good breathing mechanics. Oh yeah, 10 more seconds and then we can drop back down. High plank in three, in two, and one. Go give me one last inchworm. Hold that high plank. Let's go around the world. Left hand comes all the way out, then reach, touch the ground. Right hand all the way out, extended, touch the ground. We're gonna bring our right leg off the ground, and then left leg. One more time, try to get all the way around the world. Breathe. I know, this is where it gets really fun. We drop down to an elbow plank. Three, two, one. Elbows down, hips back. Control that breath. Try to stay flat, okay? Rather you low than up high and definitely not on the ground. We ain't got time for that. Woo! Now, how's that core feeling? Is it burning? Good, is it just me? All right, I'm here for that. 10 seconds, we go to a downward facing dog. 
three, two, one. If you need to drop the hips down, you can. Right now, hips back, pedal out the feet. Getting a little more control over that breath. Press the ground away. Our final move comes up in 12 seconds. I'm right here with you. Our last and final move today is child's pose. In three, two, one, hips down. Arms extend all the way out. Sink down into that position. Control the breath. Regain composure. Get that mind in a place and space where you can realize that you just crushed it. Now, go ahead and sit the body up. Take a deep breath in. Exhale all the way out. As you go into this position right here, I want you to reach over opposite hand, over the spine, cooling the body down, getting a little bit more mobility into that spine. Right, you might be sweaty like me. That might have been an easy warm up for you. Cross the arms over and under here. That's it. Now, as I see the sweat pouring down my face, I'm gonna go ahead and stand to my feet and rise like the champion that I am champion that you are just showed out and just showed up through 10 minutes of not so easy mobility and core congratulations on crushing it hey if you have any questions comments be sure to hit me up on social media at train with pj again it's been a pleasure to sweat alongside of you here in the fight camp studio until next time t3 peace and love